All morning long, Marty has been learning about our state's rich aviation history. Yeah, he's at Martin State Airport taking a tour of the museum there. Hello, Marty. What are we going to learn now? Well, we're going to learn about the, again, we're going to learn more about the people who turned Maryland aviation into aviation history from a Marylander has his own aviation history is Gus McLeod. I've got to say it again, this is not why we're here, but Gus is the only man to successfully fly to the North Pole and back in an oh, open cockpit, cockpit airplane. airplane. Yep. Uh, there's a, a, a book about Gus which we showed the last half hour. Gus the executive director of this museum and brings his own huge aviation resume here which has helped kick this into high gear. Well let's hope. You know, but what we're trying to present here is the people's connection to this place. You know, there's everybody in Middle River has either worked here, their parents worked here, or the descendant of someone worked here, and they should all come out. We'd like to, for them to register in our book and be a part of the museum because this is their story. This it, is their heritage. And now people are coming in and they're saying, well, that was people someone may have moved to White Marsh or may have moved to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and come in here and said, that's my aunt. Yep. She and left us 18 years ago, but that's my aunt. And that's who we're trying, and that's what this museum is about. All those Martineers and all those Martineers descendants who can come here and say, this is what my parents did. This is what my grandparents did. They are worthy to be in a museum, and we're worthy and happy and proud to tell that story. And it's not just pictures, and it's not just, you know, models, handmade models of airplanes that the real ones were designed off of. It's, it's the life. It's greetings at Christmas. There's Christmas cards from Martins. There's, there's actually um, little trinkets here, earrings and a pendant. Uh, we broadcast on a cell system, mm -hmm. and we have barely have a cell service back here in the back of the museum because we're at Martin State Airport. There's four feet of concrete above us holding up corporate jets. Yes, there's a lot of weight above us, but we're growing. We're going to take this museum and so we can show all of our display. We've got 86,000 square feet of memorabilia from the Martin Company that we'd like to display, and we're going to do that. But there's, but this is, this was the life back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. There are, there, there are earrings I'm looking at. They're little bombs. Yeah, that would make a heck of a thing. Go to a thing with bomb earrings and a necklace on. <laughs> the people, but yeah, the, 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 she was the real bomb tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Or, or he was the real bomb? Well, I don't think the guys were wearing earrings in 1940, but maybe some were. Maybe some were. Uh, tell them the website, please. The website is uh, uh, Air, MarylandAirMuseum.com. And we, you can also look at it up at uh, Glen Arrow Martin, MarylandAviation.com. So just dial in any of that and you'll get to us. Tell you what, I'm going to blog about it, but we're finally glad we made it here. Call it another Museum Week Encore. And thank you so much for hosting us. Thanks for coming out. All right. Back to TV Hill. Yeah, this has been like going to school. It always is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> great the museum lesson. segments, we love them. Absolutely.